my brothers and sisters we are in the midst of all sorts of changes there are changes in the united states and we'll see how that plays out and how it affects us and our foreign policy and we pray a smooth transition for the new administration we see changes in our weather and so i'm dressed for the part the fact that we're cooling a bit this week and we pray that we will not be in the path of this tropical depression tropical storm slash possible hurricane we pray that we will make it through november and happily land in december with no more drama we are in the midst of changes with the covid 19 it, it looks and I pray that it's going down more and more I pray so I'm hoping that there are changes in our way of understanding who we want to be as a people who we want to be as a family who we want to be as an individual who we want to be as a Christian I hope that there are lots of changes that come from the presence and power of the Holy Spirit doing a new thing inside of all of us. So I encourage you on this Sabbath Sunday to open your heart yet again for the Holy Spirit to do a new thing, to create you into someone who is more valuable than to, to the kingdom than you ever thought, a great asset, so that when history is written, our generation will somehow be there among the faithful who made lasting changes for the generations to come. So I encourage you to continue to be a source of inspiration to other people, to be a source of joy, to be a blessing in whatever way you can. There's so many opportunities to bless people now. You don't have to look around to see where there are needs. There's still children who need tablets. There's still people who need groceries. There's still others who need jobs. There are others that need rest, uh, the help frontline workers, and need us to stay safe and to, to allow them to have a little ease on their job. So whatever it is and wherever it is, look for where God is doing something, doing a new thing, and be a part of it. My brothers and sisters, live the kind of life that truly brings honor and glory to God. God bless you.